Hello guys, I'm Dr. Rahul Kare. I'm coming here at Innovative Express Care uh, is where I'm at. We're an urgent care clinic and a primary care clinic uh, in Lincoln Park area of Chicago, Illinois. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, I just want to give you an update. It's the 20th of March. Uh, I believe it's Friday. It's been a very long week here for us. Um, first thing I want to tell you is we've had 13 positive patients. That's 13 COVID 19 positive patients. So I just want you to make sure uh, you understand that COVID-19 is still spreading. It's out there. We're testing for it. Um, to give you uh, some kind of comparison, uh, one of the hospitals that I work for, uh, Illinois Masonic, has four positives. So uh, we're testing a lot here. Uh, we have the ability to do that uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, I can get into that. Um, if you guys want, but I want to give you really an update on what's going on here, the kind of cases we're seeing, symptoms we're seeing, uh, because I think it's really important that things get out in real time um, and from a physician. So I'm an emergency physician um, and uh, also an owner of Innovative Express Care. So, um, so first and foremost, how do you, if you think you have um, COVID-19, how do you, what do you do? Um, visit our website at InnovativeExpressCare.com, click on the COVID-19 section. We actually screen everybody through telemedicine uh, before we um, actually test them. And there's a reason for this. Um, we have a lot of the worried well. We have people with sniffles and uh, people that don't qualify. Um, but we also have people that do qualify and don't know if they should come in. So it goes both ways. Um, so we screen them and if they qualify, um, we send them in priority to our uh, clinic, we um, have them put on a mask, we get put them straight into the room, we test them, they get evaluated by a provider. Um, sometimes, you know, we always do flu testing as well as COVID-19 testing. We'll also do an x-ray sometimes if they're not sounding good or have different, um, their pulse ox goes down, things like that. So we, we also test for strep because sometimes that's what it is. So, you know, you gotta be evaluated and then, uh, and then um, we give you the results as soon as we get them. They're taking four to seven days to get back, unfortunately, with our, uh, but they are coming back. And then we do telemedicine visits every three days to make sure you're improving and, and um, then get you out of isolation, which we have been doing now. So um, now we're progressing to having positives and, and people who are, have, have been totally relieved of, of their symptoms and, and um, are doing better. So that's where we are in Chicago right now. Um, so uh, first and foremost, uh, on March 20th, we, we now in Illinois have 422 cases confirmed for COVID-19. Um, we have screened at Innovative Express Care over 400 patients via telemedicine, uh, which has been great. Um, of those, um, we've tested uh, about 150 uh, of those pa um, uh, of the patients. So the telemedicines are, are done, um, uh, you know, um, uh, through through a computer like a Skype like um, thing where you can't uh, you can't get exposed you're in your home and you see the physician or the provider um, so we've had of the of the 150 tests we've done we've had about 13 positive uh, COVID-19 tests um, and to give you a perspective you know Illinois Masonic has four so we're testing a lot and um, I think we should be doing that. So I'm, I'm really happy and I'm really proud of the people we have here testing on the ground here. Um, I want to talk to you about um, four p particular patients, uh, just uh, how they're doing, what they came in for, because people are asking, like, who are these patients? Let me tell you, they're people like you and me. Um, I have a 26-year-old white female who came in. Uh, I had to talk to her yesterday. Uh, she's actually a medical student in the Chicago land area. Um, she's actually a fourth year, so she's matching um, um, today. She should have found out today, but um, she, she did not have a known exposure. You know, this was a community to community exposure. She didn't know. She definitely wasn't traveling. Um, so that's one patient. We have a patient in his 50s um, who uh, about nine days ago before there was this lockdown or pseudo lockdown where everything was closed. Uh, um, she, a uh, 54 year old female, white female who was at a party and someone um, had it and transferred it to her. Um, we're going to see hopefully less of those as we are uh, decreasing our, our social contacts. Uh, at a 34 year old, he's, she is doing well by the way. Both of those patients are, are, are recovering. They still have symptoms. They're still in isolation, but they are recovering. We have a 34 year old white male um, 
he was con um, he had no contact with anyone with COVID-19, uh, also tested positive after flu-like symptoms uh, and high fevers. Uh, and then I have a sad case, uh, a gentleman in his 70s um, who, who has a history of leukemia, actually, on um, so uh, immunosuppressed with medications, and he contracted it. Uh, we did a chest x-ray here. He also had pneumonia. But Sadly, he is in the intensive care unit in one of the Chicagoland hospitals and uh, is, uh, you know, fighting for his life. So, you know, uh, out of most of the people we have, they're recovering, but not everyone. And this is, this is the virus. This is why uh, we are in, all in isolation. This is why uh, we're doing our best not to spread this in any way. Um, so those are some examples. Uh, what Take home messages. This is serious. Um, this is in our community on the, in the north side of Chicago. Um, it is spreading quickly. Uh, stay isolated to the best of your abilities. COVID-19 is not overblown. Um, I, I see posts like this and it, it frustrates me. Um, heed the warnings. Stay at home as much as you can. But I also want to talk about mental health because out of all of these patients and all the screenings I see, what I'm also seeing um, uh, is this just anxiety that is happening and it is coming out in in different ways our minds when we suppress things or when we we can function with anxiety we all have a small amount of it anxiety is only an issue when it changes what we do uh, in a negative way right so right now we're stuck at home we have cabin fever we are afraid to go outside to even um, get some of the enjoyments that we used to have with going outside, seeing friends. Um, you have to take care of yourself. What I am seeing here um, with the amount of anxiety, people coming in with now chest pains who are in their, their 40s, 30s with no risk factors, um, people who are, who are aggressive on uh, uh, very aggressive on Facebook or mad at people. We have to take it easy. It's really important to um, just take care of yourself at this time and, and ask people for help. Um, so just beware of that. Um, I think the, the last thing uh, I want to tell you about is myself. I'm, uh, I don't have any symptoms, so don't worry about me. We're using universal precautions. We definitely have personalized protective equipment here. We would not be testing if we didn't. Um, but we're running out, and this is the scary part. I will stop. I am a one, one owner shop. I am a small business and will have to stop. I've had um, distributors helping me, um, grabbing me stuff. They're telling me we have to send to hospitals, but I know you're fighting the fight, Kare. We're going to send it to you. And it, and we are. That's why we've had more positives. We've tested more people. And it, I, I'm not trying to divert away from other hospitals, but um, we need N95 masks, which we have some, but you know we're reusing them per the CDC guidelines, we have to do that. Gowns we almost ran out of yesterday, but Howard Medical, which is a local company, came to my rescue at eight o'clock last night and dropped them off. So thank you, big thank you for that because we would have had to stop testing until we got those things. So the swabs, the tubes that we have to get the COVID-19 test done, we almost um, ran out, but our health lab, which is our lab, our local lab, um, has, has been actually asking OBGYN groups to actually help uh, get these. I have friends calling dentists because we're running out of gowns, which are, um, we need gowns, disposable gowns. So um, any dentists out there who aren't using it, because unfortunately you guys aren't working, like any donations would be great for that. We're fighting the fight, but I am quarantined. Um, but I quarantine myself for two reasons. One, I don't want to infect my family. But two, I um, I need to have 16, 17 hour days to work, um, to do this, um, to arrange things. We have a big announcement coming up. Uh, I'll just tell you right now, we're gonna make a tent out uh, uh, on Monday so people don't have to actually come inside and wait in their cars and we can text them when they need to come and so they're not exposing others and not getting exposed um, to co um, COVID-19. Uh, we think it's the best way to do it. Um, hopefully the rain and uh, will stay out and stay off of us and also hopefully it'll start to warm up. So that will, we are setting that up in our parking lot this weekend. I'm really excited to do that. Uh, I've set up tents before, unfortunately, in Haiti in 2010 um, and in the Philippines um, uh, in 2015. But we're going to do it here in Chicago because this is what is very important to do. But thank you guys for all your support. Please, if you know anyone in the healthcare world who is working, um, just give them lots of love. Just, um, you know, they're just... 
they're they're working hard. My employees, um, you know, come in anxious. Some of them are crying. It's it's a very tough situation. But you know, they all have the option not to work, and they they show up every day. So I appreciate that. I appreciate my family, my wife, my children for sending me cards. You guys stay safe out there. Um, I'm very um, uh, excited to continue to help the community and let us know if you have any questions I'll try to get to them and my staff will try to get to them. You can ask on Facebook live you can in the comment section We'll try to answer as many things as possible um, Guys stay safe out there. Take care